Hey ladies, I'm Haley from Lovely's Hair, and I'm here to show you how to get a crochet look without paying the install price. And also, something that's quick, easy, and a lot more friendly at this time, where you might not be able to make it to the hair salon, or you might not be able to braid your hair, so to speak. Um, this would be something that would be optional for you. You will need, first and foremost, a wig head. Now I have mine on a stand. It doesn't have to be this special. It could be one of the styrofoam ones, but I'm using this one. I'm using a wig stand, a tall one, but you can use one that just connects to your table or you can just have it on your lap. Don't feel like you need all the special things. I'm using Brazilian deep twist um, in 10 inches. And I'm also using um, Brazilian deep wave. This one is a tad bit tighter. So, I'm just saying that for what I'm doing, you can use any hair that you like best. You also want to get a crochet lace wig um, cap. This is a wig cap I'm using. And this one has a lace part, but if you want it, you can use a regular one. Um, so, I'm using this kind of crochet needle, which is really familiar. Um, you can find this at the hair store, Amazon, you know. And then I'm using this other needle, just because I'm anal, you don't have to. Um, this needle is just like the other one, but smaller. It's a little bit smaller. Um, put it in a position that's straight as possible. That'll help you a lot. Um, once you do that, get your wig cap together. So I'm gonna grab that. If you wear a side part, do it on the side. I wear a side part, so I'm gonna do mine going towards the side because I always wear my part on the left-hand side. I switch it up every now and then, but preferably it's always on the left-hand side for me. So I'm gonna put that right there. And let me show you, the great thing about this wig is it already has the combs in it. If you can see, it'll be really easy to get on, okay? So I'm gonna put this right here, exactly how I want it. And I'm gonna use these T-pins to lay it down. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Dun, 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 dun. It's kind of bright, that's the T-pin. Um, but you could use like a regular, like, um, what do you call, thumbtack? <laughs> Here I'm just securing it on the sides and on the back. I'm gonna start in the back and show you guys how I install the hair. Just know this part is not something that has to be perfect. All that matters is that it's on the cap, okay? So I'm going with my hook, the big one, going through the bottom, through the loop. You see that? Grabbing the hair. You see that? I'm grabbing it by the hook, pulling it through. You see that? And once you pull it through, there's a hole. You see this hole? You pull a strand through there. One strand went through and then we're pulling that same strand through again. And we made a knot when we did that. That's it, okay? I'm gonna show you guys another way you can do this because I like for you to have options. Pull it through the loop and you can pull both strands through that hole. Turn it and pull both strands through. And split it. I'm gonna show you guys a couple more times because there's so many different ways you can do this honestly i don't want you to be very specific because it's a wig you're not going to see all the inside so it doesn't even matter how perfect it is so okay we're pulling both strands through turning the loop pulling both strands through and then pulling one strand through now i've done this multiple ways just so you can have options when you go back and watch this video just use whichever one fits for you i know we are on a short period of time so I'm gonna go pretty fast for y'all so you guys can see how easy it is, okay? As I talked about, you guys, you can use any of those four methods that I showed you on how to install this hair. There is no perfect way. Be very cool about the spacing. You don't have to go really tight until you get towards the top. You can have a good amount of space between the sections until you get to the very top. We are now at the end where I'm going to show you guys how to finish the part so you end up having a closure effect at the end. So basically you get your strands of hair and take a little strand, not a lot, probably about that much out of this big piece. Separate it. And this is what we do. We go into this area here 
where you can see the loop in the lace right there. We get up really close here, get our hook. Actually, we're gonna go with the smaller hook for this part. Get the hook, go in where the loop is, right where it meets the lace. And once you get that through, right where it meets the lace, you see that little black piece right here? We're gonna grab our hair, close the hook. So the hook is closed and the hair is in it, little piece of hair right there. Pull that through. Now we have this loop just like we had in the back. This hoop right here, you can see it. We're gonna pull one strand on the inside through. So this one on the outside, that's giving you the closure effect is out. But this inside one, we're gonna pull through the hoop. We're gonna twist the loop and pull it through again. And pull it tight. And then you have a knotless part. So you can't see where your hoops are right there. So I'm gonna do another one for you guys. Just so you'll know. But I have a long YouTube video on this if you guys wanna see the full details on how this is done for the knotless loop. So we're gonna pull it through the black part right where it meets the lace. Grab a little piece of hair, not a big piece. This will make a big difference. Once you grab the loop, you'll go through one time, twist the loop, go through another time. And you could twist it again for good luck. <laughs> and then you pull it. You see right here? We don't see any knots. Just like a free part, like a lace closure. All right, so I'm gonna keep doing that until we're done. All right, we're about to go over the finishing touches. So in order to make sure this line looks as legit as possible, I'm just hitting it with the blow dryer to just make sure you can see the lace so it doesn't just bombard itself right there. So you can always squish it in a little close if you want to, but right here, that's too close. So I'm hitting it with the blow dryer. So now we can see that line. All right. Another thing you want to do too, if your if your knots aren't perfect or aren't as clear as you want it to be, that there's no knots, you can always tease it a little bit with a comb, and you just go right at the roots, like this. And you might want to grab it a little bit hold the hair up and just and it just blurs the line so you can't see where it is in order to make it look amazing more amazing and define the curls we're going to use this honey almond foam which you actually can use on your natural curls if you look on my instagram i do a lot of tutorials with it on natural curls but we're going to use it to calm these curls down as we cut it to the style that we want it to be So now that my wig is all cut and styled like I like it, right here, I'm gonna go ahead and um, put my hair back. So it could be done in braids, it could be done in um, twists, it could be done in ponytails. Depending on the density of your hair, you might have to do it differently. As you guys can see, I have a lot of really good thick hair. Um, so in my case, I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna like twist it down um, into um, ponytails. So I'm going to show you what that looks like just for those people who said they can't braid. Basically, y'all, all I did was hit my hair with some water and some honey almond foam. And I just used that to flat twist my hair and like chunky twist more so. And I'm pulling those chunky twists together into a ponytail. So now that my twists are all twisted into a ponytail in the back, I'm going to lay down my edges with Influence Twist and Lock Gel.
And now I'm basically just putting the wig on, you guys. Nothing crazy. I put it on my head and I cut off the lace in the front. And it's really simple. It's nothing crazy. It's a short piece of lace. You just cut that off. And now I'm just trimming around my face to make sure it frames my face well. Okay, guys. This is it. I'm really happy with the end results. The only thing I would like to do in addition to um probably just fluffing it and playing with it a little bit is adding a concealer down this line because even though it is great it's lace or whatever you know when you lay wigs with lace you want to make sure the skin tone is perfect and i don't think the skin tone is perfect so what i am going to do because i'm at the salon right now is i'm gonna go home and add the concealer just to show y'all the finishing touches that i would do to make it perfect but i think it's pretty amazing as far as for a crochet wig, like you can just throw on and take off and throw on and take off. I think I'm happy. So I'm gonna spin so y'all can get the angles. And I do like to keep the edges out. I think that that helps with it looking more natural, having that edge line out instead of it just being wig all the way up to the front um so yeah y'all i'm pretty happy um, i'm gonna go ahead and do the concealer on the root and then i'm gonna give y'all the after thanks okay you guys i'm at home so i'm gonna show you how i go ahead and make that part more seamless here ladies i'm just showing you how i add concealer on my part line i do use a little brush but you could use your concealer stick if it has a really like pointed brush um I, if you watch closely you're gonna see i'm kind of gonna go a little too wide and once i do go a little too wide i'm just gonna follow that line just to thin it out with a eyeliner pencil and that'll always be a go-to if you feel like you put a little too much concealer on it just put eyebrow pencil along the line just to narrow it out so you don't have to worry about it looking like you have a really wide part. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. I hope this is helpful. If you guys do it, definitely tag Lovely's Hair so I can see your great work. Um, but if you need help, reach out to me. I got your back too. Love you guys. Bye. So yeah, you guys, I'm just gonna shake it one time to show you guys how stable this wig is and how secure it is and just the finishing look. Again, I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you follow me at Lovely's Hair if you need anything else. See ya.